really want to be free tonight, lift your hands. Amen. Some of you like you're not sure tonight, but I want you to be sure. I want you to shout amen. Amen. I want you to be sure. Shout amen. Amen. Do you really want to be free tonight? Shout amen. amen. Lift your hands and give God a way for free. Shout amen one more time. Yeah. Hallelujah. Then I want you to praise God with me. Amen. So if you're with me tonight, I want you to lift your hands. If you're with me tonight to praise God. If you're with me tonight to open up your mouth and sing unto God. Amen. Because serving God and praising God is not a silent thing. Amen. Talking to him and tell him it's not a silent thing. It's a listen to but it's not a silent thing. It is a noisy thing. Amen. Amen. So we hear a good noise, a joyful noise, an awesome noise, amen. But it's a noise that God will love, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. We give you praise.
Put your hands up, begin to thank him. Thank him for his mercy, thank him for his love and kindness. Begin to thank him where you are tonight. Begin to thank him, sweet Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Oh, Sharamai Kondoro Osatamasha. Ramama Masi Koromo de Ramama Satamas. Oh, Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. The Lord is here, the Lord is here, the Lord is here. The Holy Ghost is here. Oh, Sharamama Satamama Satamama. Yanta Ramama Satamama Satamama
He shall lead you and guide you in all truth and in all paths of righteousness. In all things we depend on the Holy Ghost to, to lead us, to guide us, to direct us, to, to comfort us, to strengthen us, to, to give us a peace that surpasses all understanding, to, to give us a new joy, a, a new strength, something more. Hallelujah. Oh, Sharama Masilo Ramo, Nena Masina Rama Masakata. And I want you where you are. Hallelujah. That ask them to create within you that clean heart and that pure mind and to renew within you that right spirit that where the Holy Ghost is. And there is miracles. The Bible says, but God will confirm His words by mighty signs and wonders and by great miracles. And we need Him to confirm His word in our lives, in our situations, in our battles, in our struggles. There is no authority greater and God's word and in all things we examine our lives by the word of God we examine our thoughts our words our deeds by, by the word of God hallelujah and it is that word that fights it is that word that delivers it is that word that heals hallelujah as the Bible says and the devils shall come in as a flood the spirit of the Lord shall raise a stumbling hallelujah without him we can do nothing without the Holy Ghost sent from a proper by the Son of God because Jesus is the Holy Ghost baptized and with all the Holy Spirit in our lives, in our homes, in our services, in our worship, in our hearts. Without Him we can do nothing. But the Bible said we can do all things to Christ Jesus that gives us Strength, hallelujah, strength in your body, strength in your bones, strength in your marrow, strength in your situation, strength in your storms, strength in your frustration. Ask him, ask him for strength, ask him for peace, ask him for joy.
Somebody put their hands together for the Lord tonight. Somebody call it by his name tonight. Come on, let me hear that. Call it by his name. To my temple. That's the temple of the Holy Ghost. Not of sickness. Not of disease. Not of its poverty. Not of demon spirits.
The breastplate of righteousness will guard your heart. Amen. Amen. But the helmet of salvation will guide your mind. And the Bible said, let this mind which was in Christ Jesus being us. Yes. Amen, somebody. Yes. Amen. Let's, I wanna, amen. Let's talk about the mind for about 20 minutes tonight. Yes. Amen. Let's two of you just come and bring down the altar. Amen, somebody. Amen. So if you want to go to that new level, you better guard your mind. Yes. Guard your mind. Amen, somebody. Guard your mind from strangers. Guard your mind from what you hear on the radio, from what you see on the television. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. You better guard your mind. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. You are human. You are human beings. You have five senses. You can see. You can hear. You can smell. You can touch. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. You can taste. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? And the, the world. That's what the Bible said. Love not the world, only the things of the world. For he had loved the world. The love of the Father is not in him. Amen, somebody. And the Bible said, what is in the world? He then began to point out things how or land or cars, but he begin to speak what what is in the world, what is the what is the spirit of the world, what is the manifestations of the world, amen somebody. And he said what is in the world is the lust of the eyes, amen, the pride of life. And what else? The lust of the flesh. And he said and these three are one. Amen. Amen. What is in the world is the pride. Somebody said pride. Pride. Pride of life. The, the, the pride to have. The, the pride to want. The, the pride to be successful above others. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. The pride of life speaks about all the goodness of life that we want to be comfortable. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. And the pride of life is speaking at every corner. Amen, somebody. Everyone that we know that has something better than us or something that we want or something that we desire or a life that we desire, the pride of life is speaking to us. In the Bible, and the pride of life Warring against the spirit of God. Because the job of the spirit, amen somebody, amen is to prepare you for heaven. The job of the Holy Ghost is to lead you to truth and to all paths of righteousness. And the pride of life will deter you from truth. And from the leading of the Holy Ghost. Amen. And we read in the book of Galatians. And the Bible says, For the flesh work against the spirit. And the spirit against the flesh. So they find that people that God has called and ordained. And spirit can lead us. Amen somebody. While they are sacrificing and the flesh. Begins to manifest. Amen. Because the pride life begins to speak about our needs, our wants, our desires, and our earthly dreams. Amen. 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 Amen.
to believe us and children of the kingdom is built by the power of God. It's not by might nor by power but by the spirit of the Lord of hosts. That's why you can have a job that you do not deserve. Amen. 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 Amen somebody. Amen. Amen. By your faith and the favor of God is upon you. Because the Bible is only faith pleases God. And faith will be tested, tried, and proven. Amen somebody. By storms, by winds, by battles, by sicknesses, and by diseases. Amen somebody. To bring out the amen. What is gold and what is silver. To bring out of your faith. Amen. The pureness of your faith. Amen. The only reason that you should have faith is because you love God. Amen. And the battles and the trial of your faith is to bring out that pureness. Amen. The purity of faith. Amen. Amen. We speak about that silver is tried, so must we be tried. As gold is tried, so must we be tried. Why, why is silver and gold tried to become pure? When you walk in a jewelry store, you ask for gold. You want gold. You want pure gold. You don't want gold plating. You want pure gold. Because that's what you want to buy. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. But some believers want to be gold plated. Amen, somebody. Amen. You want to have brass underneath and gold on top. Amen, somebody. Amen. But God don't want that. God wants a pure gold or pure silver. Amen, somebody. And so therefore, He will try you until it becomes pure. Until your faith becomes sincere. Until the reason you might be saved because of all kind of reasons. So you put a Say because they want a new man, they want a new king, they want a new queen, they want a new husband, they want a new job, they want a new car. Amen, somebody. They are saved because they are sick, diseased, or press possessed. They are saved for many different reasons. Amen, somebody. And they come to Jesus for many different reasons. The Bible said the multitude came to the water because of the fish and the loaves, because of the miracles that they saw. They, they come because they were hearing the miracles. But when you come and you get saved, and you have hold the unadulterated word of God. Amen, somebody. Then God will begin to refine you as a refiner's fire and a full of soul that your faith will be made pure. That the only reason you will be seeking the face of God, amen, somebody, is because you love him. That is what is called pure faith. Amen. Faith can only be made manifest in all its glory where the love of God is working. The Bible says, but faith works it, work it by the love of God. Amen. Faith says, faith works it by the love of God. So what war it against us? The spirit of God? The lust of the eyes? The lust of the flesh and the pride of the life. And he said, and these three are one. They are not separated. They are one. They are linked together. They are a chain of command. Working in our members. Working in our bodies. Working in our lives. Working in our heart. Working in our minds. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. And the Bible even calls it the armor of flesh. And the Bible speaks in the book of Thessalonians. And if we must be saved and be with that we must take off the armor of flesh. Amen. So there's an armor of flesh and there's an armor of God. The armor of flesh will, will defy the things of God, will war against the things of God, will battle the things of God. The armor of flesh can be religious. The armor of flesh, amen, somebody. Amen. Will oppose anything that is true, amen. Anything that is pure, anything that is holy, anything that is righteous, amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Amen. 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 Amen.
and amen, you will try to minister to a backslider, you won't believe it's the same person you knew five or six years ago, because their ways, their attitude, their actions, the person that you knew that was humble, that was obedient, that was listening, that person when Satan took him a hole and came them out in the world and they began to drink and, and party and womanize, amen, somebody, and live all different type of lifestyle. The moment you begin to speak to them, you a stubbornness arise, a battle arise, a conflict arise. It's like you are speaking to us, it's like you are not speaking to an enemy and no longer a person who was once a child of God. Because we have not put on the armor of the flesh. So there's the armor of flesh and there's the armor of God. And the armor of flesh will speak carnally. And it will speak to man's wisdom. Ain't that somebody? Ain't that somebody? I said the armor of flesh will speak to man's wisdom. Ain't that somebody? And the man's wisdom is what man understands. And the, uh, the majority will agree with man's wisdom. Because by man's wisdom, they cannot know God. That's what the Bible says. Amen. 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 By man's wisdom, they cannot know God. The Bible says and these two are one. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. The what? Pride of life. The pride of life. Amen, someone. Let's speak about the lust of the eyes. The lust of the eyes is walking with the pride of life. What are the what 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 are the, the reasons that a, a woman will leave her husband or a husband will leave his wife? So, amen. The majority of the time is not really the problem we are really speaking about to people. Amen. But it has so much more reasons in your heart that they are ashamed to speak about amen. and they know it is wrong. Amen. 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 What they are really saying when they are living, saying when somebody, she might tell them that she has no understanding, that she cries all the time, and, 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 and this girl and that girl, hey, amen somebody, and that time, what they are really looking at is that the grass looking greener on the other side. But they ain't telling you that, they ain't telling you that they see greener pastures. <laughs> The lust of the eyes showing them opportunities and is linked to the pride of life. Amen. What they can have, Amen. who they can meet. Amen. And the issues that they are bringing up. Amen, somebody. Amen. It's not that they can't solve it, it's that they don't want to solve it. Because they're seeing greener pastures. Amen. 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 Because Amen, the pride of life has been there looking at everybody else. Amen. And the lust of the eyes. Amen is seeking out the armor of flesh. Amen. 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 The lust of your eyes is seeking out what? The armor of flesh. And these three are what? 
Yeah. And that's why the believer mind must be renewed. Yeah. That, that your emotion and your mind, you can be able to judge it by God's word. Yeah. The only way to protect your mind and your heart is to begin to judge yourself by the word of God. Amen. The Bible says, if, if, if we will judge ourselves, then we will not be judged. Yes, right. Amen. But the Bible says, we are judged. Because why? We are judged why? Come on. Amen. We are just because we have not judged ourselves. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 And the greatest authority and the greatest judge of our lives is the word of God. Amen. That's right. It is what the word of God. It must become our governor, our ruler, our leader. When we begin, when our thought patterns begin to stray because of battles, Amen. Tell him, said the attack is, is psychological. It's emotional. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 It's one of the minds, it's one of the hearts. It's not that you don't have faith, it's because you, it's that you cannot use your faith. Amen. Because the armor of flesh is blocking the tool of faith. It's blocking the miracle. It's blocking the healing. It's blocking the breakthrough. It's blocking the deliverance. It's blocking the power of the Holy Ghost. It's not that God cannot aim and destroy the armor of flesh, but you will not submit your will. You must submit your will. If he submits your will, it would not be pure. It would not be true love Amen. or true faith. Amen, Amen somebody. You know what Paul wrote? Said, Eyes are not seen and ears are not heard. Neither have it entered into the hearts of men. But I, the Lord my God, have prepared for them that love me. So he is saying that, that he has prepared things for them that, that love me. There are things being, in the there are things being prepared for those that love him. Those that love him. And he said, eyes have not seen it. And that's how we are living. We are, we are living by someone to come to tell us what they see God is going to do. I didn't see what I'm saying. And the Bible said that eyes have not seen it and ears have not heard it. Amen. And if eyes have not seen it and ears have not heard it, and he said it, it even have not entered in the hearts of men. Amen. 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 You know why? Because it's a faith walk. It's faith according to your love. Amen. So no one is not going to hear about it. No one is not going to come and tell you they see it. Amen. God is not even going to put it in someone's heart for them to speak about it. Amen. It will seem like your dream does not exist. That your hope does not exist. That your call does not exist. That what he promised does not exist. Because why? Eyes have not seen it. And ears have not heard it. So it have an answer in the hearts of men. But the Bible says that God has prepared it for them that love Him. Amen. 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 
Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Amen. What God has promised about that He's not like man and He should lie or the Son of Man and He should repent. But what He has promised, He will bring it to pass faithful and He that has called. And He said, even when we are not faithful, yet He said, He abided faithful. And even when our own heart has condemned us, He still will not condemn us. But because we are not faithful, we cannot endure to reach the promise. Amen. Amen. <laughs> because we are not faithful, because we are not loyal, because A has some money. What is ruling our lives is not God's word. What is ruling our lives is the armor of flesh. It is the, the lust of the eyes. And it is the pride of the life. Amen. And it is what? The lust of the flesh. And when we speak about the lust of the flesh, amen, somebody. We are speaking about our own desires. From whence come wars and fightings amongst ourselves. Come not from the lust amongst our own members. The desires that is within our own members. The flesh have its own agenda. Let me say the flesh, the spirit of the world, and manifest in our lives, in our surroundings, have its own agenda. That's why the Bible said that we have to be led by the Spirit of God. There are as many as are led by the Spirit of God. They are the sons of God. And so we got to know what Spirit is leading our lives. Amen. we got to try to amen and prove the Spirit that is speaking to our minds and depositing emotions in our hearts. Spirits can deposit emotions. Amen. And they can speak to our minds. Amen. What is the judge of our heart and our mind? It is the word of God. Amen. Heaven open pass away. But not one judge of his words are passed. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen, amen somebody. Amen. amen. And if we read Romans 12, amen, somebody. Amen. As I just touch on that, as the Spirit of God led me, amen. amen. Just to touch on that a little tonight, amen, somebody. That the, the attack is psychological. It's in our mind, it's in our heart, amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. amen. And God is now beseeching, He's crying out to the church. Amen, amen. Hallelujah, glory. And He's crying out and beseeching them. He said, I beseech you, therefore, blessing by, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies as a living sacrifice. How are you presenting your body? A living sacrifice. Because without sacrifice, there is no covenant, there is no agreement with God. God wanted a family. He wanted a people born again, and he sacrificed his son. Amen. 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 I said God wanted a family on the earth. He wanted his kingdom on the earth. He wanted sons and daughters on the earth. What did he do? He sacrificed his son. His only begotten son. And the Bible said, no, when we are saved, it's not that we should live unto ourselves, but that we should live for God and for others. Amen. 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 The armor of flesh causes us to live for ourselves. Jesus said, greater love has no man than a man will live on his life. Praise brother. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, praise fellow, praise brother. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Greater 
Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. And there is no way in this world there are people without, without sacrifice. Every year over two million people die because they don't have water. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Amen. Am I speaking to somebody Amen. tonight? Amen. Amen. Glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. But the Bible said that God says, God says that this is a reasonable service. Because all that he has done for us, and all that he has promised us, and what we're going to receive, he says, this is a reasonable service unto God. And then he said, no, I'm being not conformed to this world. But be he transformed by the renewing of the mind. Where the transformation is taking place by the renewing of the mind. Because that, that, that is where you think and make your decisions from your mind. And the matter as a man thinketh, so is he. What we are speaking and ministering tonight, it is the word of God given unto us. And in the book of Hebrews, I believe it's chapter 9, it said, For there is no temptation that is given unto man, but that which is common. What is common? Something that you see every day. This is happening every day. Whether people serving God or not, it's a sacrifice. It's a life of hardship and sorrow and problem. But the days of man upon the earth, the Bible said they are few and they are full of sorrow. Amen. So he said there is no temptation, no unto man, but that which is common. Solomon said, Amen, somebody, for there is nothing new that is under the sun. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. The Bible said, as in the days of Solomon and Gomorrah, so shall it be in these last days. Amen. And we see Sodom and Gomorrah coming back with full strength. Throughout the whole world. Amen. Amen. So we are seeing that gay rights uh, is being fought for all over the world right now. Amen. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Am I speaking to somebody tonight? And be not conformed to this world. But you've got to be transformed. Amen. 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 The majority of people in your lives, they are carrying the spirit of the world. That everyone is carrying the spirit of truth. Amen. Let's speak to someone there. Amen. Are there advice based on the word of God? Is the people in your home, in your family, amen, your surroundings, your job place, is the advice he has given you based upon God's word, is the things he is speaking to you about based on God's word, are the, the things that we look at on, on television and, and, and we listen to on the radio based on God's word, is our media news, is it based on the word of God, amen. prophecy man.
might be, be, hallelujah, be fulfilling before our eyes. Amen, somebody. But they're not speaking from a prophetic point of view. They are speaking from a world viewpoint. Yes. Today, I must say, what spirit are you carrying? Are you carrying the spirit of the world? Or are you carrying the spirit of Christ? The spirit of Christ will cause you to lead on your life for your prayer. Amen. Two. Amen. So today we say, what spirit, what spirit is it? It is easy to be influenced, it is easy to be given to have doubt in the spirit of the world. It is easy to be fated as somebody. Amen. Because the attack is one of the mind and one of the heart. And amen. And it comes from, from the things that we love and the people that we love and friends and family and things around us. And then our job play. But we got to judge our thought patterns and our choices and our emotions by the standard of God's word. We want deliverance. We want God promise. We want God power in our life. We want to defeat witchcraft and sorcery and ancestral curses. There is no authority greater than God's word. Jesus said, the man will not live by bread alone. We are living by the bread and the butter of this world. You are living by every word that will proceed out of the mouth of God. And be not conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of the mind. And only when the mind is renewed, then you may prove. And he said, you know what? Okay. He said, prove. Okay. Many times we quote the scripture, he said, we say no. But the Bible says, then you will prove. Then we will what? Prove. Then he said, then you will prove. Then you will what? Prove. Amen. How do you know what is a good brand of vehicle to buy? Because people have proven it. They, are, they have proven the vehicle, they have tested it, so they, they spread it and they tell everybody, amen, this part of vehicle is a good vehicle to, to buy. How do we know that something tastes good? You have to prove it. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. And he said that you might prove what is that good, good and acceptable Amen. and perfect will of God. Amen. You will you'll be able to prove now what is good and acceptable Amen. and perfect will of God. Amen. You know our proof. Amen. You know our evidence. Amen. The Bible says that we shall be witnesses unto Him. Amen. I don't know about you, but I have proven God. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. I said I have proven God. Amen. 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 Our mind, we're going to transform our mind. We have to transform our minds. The reason why we are depressed and oppressed and frustrated is because our thinking is negative and not more of faith. Amen. Amen. The reason we, did, we have lost our first love and joy for God because of our thinking is one of doubt and fear and unbelief. Amen, 
met somebody. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Somebody. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's not that the church will provide you, it's that God will provide you. My God shall provide all of my needs. We don't show the church or post or tear or our mouth. We are serving the one to and the living God by the word of God. And my God shall provide all of my needs according to his riches in glory. We have lost the armor of God and we have put on the armor of flesh. We have forgotten that God is the way maker. You don't make a way for yourself. God makes a way for you. By Him we live, by Him we breathe, by Him we consist, and by His powers we are kept. No life leaves the earth without the permission of God. And no new life is born without the permission of God. Amen, somebody. Put your hands together for the Lord. Amen. 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 It's the battlefield. It's the battlefield. It is the battlefield. It is the battlefield. And I'm going to close it this evening, somebody. And I want you to take the second Corinthians. Amen. I know that people come as I begin to pray for me, you can meet tonight. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. The Lord give me this way say, I want you to speak to my people concerning this tonight. Amen, somebody. Amen. I don't know why. Amen. Amen. Right before I come out there, the Lord begin to speak to me. Say the mind. The mind. The mind. The mind. Mind, the battlefield of mind. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. The mind. The mind. Amen. 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 What does one of you say? The inner man is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. And these three are one, and the flesh one that gave the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. Who are you surrendering to? Who are you listening to? What voice are you listening to? What spirit are you hearing? Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. And amen, somebody. And 2 Corinthians chapter 10, amen, somebody. And verses 3 to 5, amen, somebody. It says, but though we walk in the flesh, though we are walking in flesh and blood. Amen. 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 Somebody pinch himself right there. Pinch himself. And said, though I am walking in flesh and blood. Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen, amen somebody. Amen. Though walk in flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. Amen. Our war is not really coming from the, the flesh of man, speaking of other men. They are being vessels by the spirit that is in the world. The spirit of the world or the spirit Amen. that is in the world is what the Bible calls the Antichrist. It's going to oppose everything that is of Christ. Amen. 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 So for though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not honor but mighty to God. To the pulling down of strongholds and the casting down of the casting down of what imagination. Where do you imagine God? In the mind. In the mind. Why does the, the, the imagination must be cast down? 
Parce que Satan a dit qu'il y a des choses qui ne doivent pas exister. Il y a des choses qui ne doivent pas exister. Il y a des choses qui ne doivent pas exister. Il y a des choses qui ne doivent pas exister. Il y a des choses qui ne doivent pas exister. Because your imagination begins to rule you, and what is fueling your imagination? The spirit of the world. Amen. Amen. Why, why do people have arguments all the time? You say that. No, I didn't say that. Yes, you say that. No, I didn't say that. You're lying. <laughs> You misunderstand. No, I understand. Amen. 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 By your mind. Amen. Amen. And the Bible said that we've got to cast down imaginations. Amen. Casting down imaginations. And every high thing that they sold itself against the knowledge of God because everything is judged by God's word. Amen. 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 The weapons we use is by God's word. Amen. And the judgment we pronounce is by God's word. Amen. Casting up imagination. Amen. Then you say, cast away imagination. Bring it down. Bring it under subjection to the knowledge of Christ. Bring down your imagination because your mind is that battlefield. And your mind, amen, somebody, is what God is going to use to speak to you. Amen. And God is not going to appear to you like He appeared to Moses. Amen. And if the word of God is ruling your mind, you will be able to hear the voice of God clearly because the word of God is God. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord will be able to lead your mind in the direction that it ought to go. That you will be able to make the decisions that you have to make to lead you to the destiny and the purpose that God has promised. <laughs> Casting out imagination. And then the high thing. And then the sort itself. I gave the knowledge of God and bring into captivity every thought. Bring to captivity. You know, look how important this subject was on the, the Apostle Paul. He said that we ought to bring into captivity every thought. Nothing starts out of thought. A quarrel does not start out of thought. A fight doesn't start out of thought. People do not get killed without a thought. They don't crash their vehicles without a thought. Their thinking led them there. Yes, Amen, somebody. Yes, Even though somebody get killed innocent, but their thinking led them there. Yes, if their steps were ordered by the Lord, they would not have walked down that street. Yes, Amen. Amen. They would not have hopped in that car. Bringing every thought into captivity and under subjection. Amen. 
players have bring your thoughts. Bring your thoughts. Bring your thoughts. Bring your thoughts. On the captivity. And amen, husband and wife, you must stop cussing and fighting at home. What can you bring your thoughts? On the captivity. When you bring thoughts on the captivity, you will bring words on the subjection. What does the Bible say about our tongue? It's like a most deadly weapon. It says all the beasts and the field, man get tamed and they can't tame the tongue. It says he whosoever cannot tame his tongue, his religion is vain. He used the word bridle, control, tame. So, amen, somebody. Amen. 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 And it begins to speak that, that our tongue sets in motion. Amen, somebody. Amen. 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 The pattern of our lives like the sails upon the boat. Amen. But it, it started somewhere. It started with the thoughts. Amen. With the Amen. mind. Amen. 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 The difference between a miracle. Amen. Amen. And one fish is thought. Amen. 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 Bring into captivity every thought Amen. to the obedience of Christ. Bring is a bring every thought. Bring every thought. You know, in your mind. In your mind. Into captivity. Into, captivity. into subjection. Into the subjective. knowledge of Christ. Amen. The word Christ means the anointing or the anointing one. Bring it under subjection. Christ, our Savior, our Messiah. Bring it under subjection to the pattern of his life. There's the pattern of the world, and then there's the pattern of Christ's life and his disciples. And we gotta bring our Thoughts under subjection. Only then we can prove the goodness of God. Amen. Amen, somebody. Am I speaking to somebody tonight? Amen. Give God some praise. Give us a say your mind is the butterfly. Your mind is the butterfly. <laughs> You are first defeated in your mind. You are first defeated there. Everything that is happening around your life presently is to defeat you in your mind and in your heart. Amen. To drive you away from the armor of God, Amen. you need to put on the armor of flesh. Amen. You can bring the house of God and have on the armor of flesh. Amen. 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 Because the spirit of the world is operating in our lives. It is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and it is the pride of life. Amen. 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 Let me take one minute to pray that God will help you. That you will be able to judge your hearts and your minds. I don't know, but you want to go to a different level. Begin to meditate upon the word of God here and night. And you will become like a tree planted by the rivers of waters. You will be able to judge yourself by God's word. You want to arise, you want to be blessed, you want to be promoted on the job. Get an anointing to walk with you. Get the favor of God to fill with you. Let the word of God, amen.
Amen. We get a manifest from it in you and through you. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. And you will see transformation. You will see deliverance. You will see victory. You will see blessing. You will see healing. You will see deliverance. You will see restoration. You will see strength. You will see joy. It is that word. Speak to him, Mr. Woman. Speak to him, speak to him. Speak to him, speak to him, speak to him. So the steps of a good man, they are ordered by the Lord. They are ordered by the Lord. David said to his word is a lamp unto a path and a light unto our feet. Directing us. Leading us. Oh, Shalom. Speak and the Lord said he would give you the wisdom and the knowledge in this job to give favor with Christ. But the Lord said, what it will take from you is much time. Behold the Lamb of God. In Jesus' name, lead him of this choice. Guide him, Lord, by your word as he upholds you tonight. In Jesus' name, by faith. Amen. All for me to bless for you. And you would anoint yourself uh, every night for seven days. And that's going to stop completely. So you're going to bring that in the next service. Our next service is Saturday. Right? Bring you the see God move. And you're going to be free here yeah? and deliver them. In Jesus' name. The power of the Holy Ghost. When you have blessed no massacres. Oh God, and as they stand here, they want to, their family to be restored. Father. For years they have been battered and bruised by the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, loose and set them free. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' mighty name, be thou loose, be thou made free. In Jesus' mighty name, by faith, we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. In the name of Jesus, you shall not conquer me with fear. But my God is my conqueror. And he will conquer you. He will conquer all those that seek my life. For the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? I send the Holy Ghost against those that seek their life, that seek to take their life over land, that seek to check them by guns and by swords and by knives and by spears. But the night we come in the name of the Lord, we come as David went before Goliath, in the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, the Lord of hosts is his name. Begin to encamp amongst them, begin to fight amongst them. Those all that try to that advantage them. God, scatter them, destroy them, mash them up, bring their works to naught. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fire and deliverance come. Fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the deliverance come. Let the deliverance come. Let the deliverance come. Let this home and the sun and that land and that land and the house and home will be a place for Jesus, will be an instrument for Jesus, will be a light for Jesus, the fire of the Holy Ghost, deliver tonight, Lord, I bless this oil, now God, I send them with the anointing of God, let the God sprinkle it on the lands, sprinkle it in the house, sprinkle it in the front, sprinkle it in the drain, and the angels of God and come around them, let there be a blessing of deliverance, Jesus, and then they go with a weapon. And I just a weapon in the name of Jesus. And they go sprinkling around your house. 
spooked in the land, spooked in the chain, and the holy but the come. God is gonna stop them, the angels of God is gonna mash up their hooks, blind them, scatter them, make them fight against one another. The gods are before us, who shall be against us? In the name of Jesus.